Okay, in this video we will be examining um, how to build and print proposals. Uh, for those of you not familiar, the Electronic Consultant uh, is designed as a complete in-home sales tool. Uh, you can do just about anything and everything you would need in the sales process from uh, offering a customer survey to showing pictures of equipment, making a company presentation, offering PowerPoints or video presentations. Uh, printing installers guides, purchase orders, uh, proposals up to three systems if you're doing a good, better, best, um, tracking sales, uh, and doing job costing. It's really designed uh, as an in-home sales tool. In this topic today we'll be examining how to build uh, and print proposals um, and having been familiar with the program for, for quite some time um, I've seen the, the program uh, used in, in a number of different ways and I think you'll see that through the presentation here. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll see we have a, a cutout system picture uh, where you see the, the indoor units in the basement and the outdoor units. This screen is a hotspot. Um, so our, our first example here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a proposal uh, by the uh, an itemized proposal by a selection method. So we're going to use the picture for just about everything. Um, that we add to the system. So when I click on the outdoor unit here, the first thing it's going to ask us for is brand. Now if you sell multiple multiple brands or carry multiple manufacturers, for instance Train, Lennox, Carrier, Goodman, all four of those would populate within the program. Now the nice thing with this program is when you purchase the program we actually put in your pricing as many manufacturers as you would like. Um, so if you would you would like different air conditioner or heat pump or furnace manufacturers, we load those into the program for you. Um, right now in my program I just have train it looks like. Now once I choose train then it's going to show me my families. So I'm going to go with the XL16i family. Once I choose my family, well then it's going to give me my capacity. I'm going to say we have, I'm going to deal with a 3 ton air conditioner. Once I choose that 3 ton it's going to give me my model number. At that point I can choose my model and I can add it to the system. Now if I scroll over here you're gonna see a list price. That's basically my my material cost plus my markup and tax to come to that list. If I click the plus sign I can scroll over and see all of those different um, columns. We have the plus sign in there just in case if you scroll over in front of a homeowner they're not seeing your net cost, your tax, things like that. Um, so that is the, the air conditioner. Now if I click on the condenser pad in the picture, you'll see a list of pads that we have available in the system. I highlight the pad I want, and again, I add that to the system. If I click on the line set in the picture, you'll see the different line sets I have. I'm just going to uh, choose one of them and add them to the system. If I click on the furnace in the picture. Again, it goes back to, okay, what brand of furnace are you dealing with? Train. I'm going to go with the two-stage variable speed. I'm going to say 80,000 BTUs. And once I choose that, you'll see both my upflow and downflow models in there. I add that to the system. Now, if I want to drag that up, I can drag it up, um, show it shows up second uh, in the list. If I click on the flue in the picture, I can go ahead and add some flue venting. So you'll sort of see how this works. I'm clicking on all these items in the picture um, and building my proposal uh, right there in front of the customer. If I click on the couch for labor, you'll see where I can add labor um, to the system. I'm just going to add 10 hours of labor. Uh, we have everything in here that, that you would need. Uh, for instance, if you want to show rebates, I'm just going to go ahead and add a furnace rebate to the system. Um, warranties, you can add warranties. Um, we do have a section in here called add equip slash material. This would be used for uh, things that aren't located in the picture. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to call a category ABC Heating and Supplies, you could name this category A that, uh, and it would list all of those supplies. You'll see humidifiers, and again, this A through N is completely customizable. You can come up with your own categories or you can label them or put them in any order you want um, on that. We also have an add manual feature here which allows you uh, to type in a description, give it a cost, and add it to the system if in case you can't find an item um, in your system 
or in case you just want to um, add an item manually um, like that. Now that, that's the itemization method. Before I, I get into a, a few more methods, what we'll do is we're going to take a look at the uh, proposal and how we're going to do this. Once I click on Calculate, you'll see our preview screen here. It shows us the equipment we've added. It does show our investment. If you would like to hide that investment, there's a bunch of setup stuff under the company setup, which is in another video, where you can hide, hide investment before you print it off. You can open up different financing options. Um, you'll see there's a number of different ways you can finance, whether you're using credit cards or a loan term. Um, same thing with cash discounts, down payments, things like that. If I click on print proposal, there, there's two separate proposals here. If I click on system one, I'll make this a little bit smaller so we can fit it in our screen. You'll see here this is the default proposal. So this pro proposal automatically comes with the system. Uh, probably our most commonly used proposal. You'll see where it adds the equipment that we've built in the system. It shows us our investment or rebates, our total investment. Financing you can show or you can hide it. Um, this proposal is a little bit customizable within the company setup. That's the standard one page proposal. Now we do have multiple other templates. If I click on this you'll see a list of close to a hundred different templates that we have preloaded in the system if you'd like to to use a different template. We also customize them um, as well so if you're currently using something we can also replicate that for you um, within the system. Um, I'm going to go back to the proposal screen and we're going to move this over here. Now uh, what I walked you through is sort of the itemization where you're you're clicking on the picture and you're pointing and clicking uh, and you're adding one item at a time. Um, that would be okay but there is there is some other methods where you can speed things up uh, whether you combine prices on, on a bunch of different units uh, which we get into on the data entry video or we have what we call uh, customized kits another section on here now I have three kits in my system I have a 13 seer air conditioner a 16 and a 20 uh, these are three separate kits now if I go to system one I'm gonna add the 13 seer kit that units or that kit is already prepackaged it's already ready for my sales staff to go out in the field they can add that kit print it off they're done or what they can do is they can go to system two here's my 16 seer kit I go to system three here's my 20 seer kit in a matter of in three or four button clicks I've just printed off or I've just created three different proposals um, a good better best I can print them off and, and go through them with the homeowner highlight them do whatever I need to um, at that point so that's one method that I, I have quite a few people using as the kits now I've seen these kits used in in a number of different ways whether you want to include the equipment or not probably our most commonly used uh, method of of creating the proposal would be to use the picture for your bigger equipment so you add your 95 percent furnace well then you come into kits and you know I only have one category in here of air conditioners let's say I had another category in here called install kits well I could have an 80 percent install kit and a 95 percent install kit um, those items are usually going to stay the same um, so rather than creating so many different kits with all this equipment in it um, I, I do have plenty of, of dealers who uh, create install kits for uh, a two-ton air conditioner or a four-ton air conditioner um, different efficiency furnaces based on different parts that, that go into those systems a boiler kit a mini split kit um, just different different kits that that are gonna be sort of the same items um, in that kit which really helps out outside of that that the, again the program is designed as an in-home sales tool there's quite a bit to it um, in terms of of the power that the program has this video was just sort of demonstrate uh, a few different ways of, of how to create a proposal but ultimately the program serves as a as a home uh, where your equipment is in there you set your markups um, and then from there you're free to pick and choose or build your proposal in whatever fashion um, that you want. If you do have any additional questions, please give us a call at 815-452-2345 or send us an email to support at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.